Hello, today is Friday. Praise God. I've got something beautiful I'm sharing with you this whole week. Praise God. Now, now we've been talking about you know, what Jesus sent his disciples out. You know, he said, go preach to, to every creature. Now, see, that's why he used the word every creature. See, because everyone has a right to hear the gospel. But not everyone will believe. Now, who knows the ones who will believe? The Holy Spirit is the one who knows. And he's the one that baptizes. See? So, when you believe, when your heart is open to receive the gospel, what happens? The Holy Spirit. And listen, it's not just when you go out for altar call. See, that's another confusion that happens to a lot of people. No, sir. It's not when you go out for the altar call. It could be, you see. But you see, the truth is, even while you're hearing, as you're hearing me right now, if your heart, maybe you're not a believer, you've not given your life to Jesus Christ. But as you're hearing me right now, see, the Holy Ghost is there. As you open your heart, like, see, He, first of all, is the one that convinces you that this message is true. And He begins to say to you, it is time to submit yourself to be baptized. And while your heart is contemplating on it and opening to Him, He baptizes you. You remember when Peter went to Cornelius' house? And the Bible says Peter was preaching. Of course, see, he, he was still skeptical. But no, God have sent him there. So he knew God sent him there. So he was preaching. The Bible said while he was speaking, what happened? The Holy Ghost fell on them. Did you see that? The Holy Ghost fell on them. So he didn't pray for anybody. He didn't say, come out if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. No, he didn't say that. He was still trying to convince them that Jesus Christ is Lord. But you know, they have been prepared already by the Holy Ghost. So I'm sure the Holy Ghost just wanted them to know what is happening to them. That's why he sent Peter there. If not, the Holy Ghost could have fallen on them without Peter going there. See? Yeah. So there are people who got born again, you know, all by themselves. Yeah, there are people like that. See? Now when that happens, he connects you with other believers so that you will understand what has happened to you. Praise God, you know. Now he says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be done. Now he, verse 17 says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Now who should look out for these signs? The preachers, the disciples, as we go out to preach. And then we said, you know, we may make an altar call and people come out. Now that's not how we know. That's why it's a, it's a big mistake, you know, for you to hold a crusade and say, oh, you know, 100 people gave their life to Christ. 10,000 or 1,000 people gave their life to Christ. No, 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 no. 10,000 people or 100 people may come out for the altar call. It doesn't mean that they were the ones that gave their life to Christ. It could be less. It could be more. There may be many who didn't come out, but yet the Holy Ghost fell on them where they were. They were baptized with the Holy Ghost. See Now, but how are we going to know? And this is the important part. It says, and this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Nobody teaches you to cast out devils. The moment you are baptized with the Holy Ghost, a boldness comes inside of you that resists every demonic force or influence over your life or over other people's lives around you. So you just find out that there's, 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 an, there's a, a holy anger that comes upon you when, when you see the devil operating anywhere. See, so he says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. He didn't say they shall plead with devils. He said they shall cast them out. Praise God. So, hear me. If you were baptized with the Holy Ghost, and you are still running away from demons, or you are still running, say, oh, pastor, they are chasing me in the night. When I dream, they, I see someone chasing me with a cutlass. Come on. Did you believe Jesus? Are you sure you were baptized? Because when you were, if you were, the Holy Ghost in you resists every demonic influence or oppression. It resists it. So when you see them, it's the same way you respond to sickness. Because let me tell you, just some, many times, sicknesses as a, uh, as a result of demonic oppressions. Yeah, they are. 
See, that's why you read in scriptures, some, somebody is deaf and dumb. And Jesus, the Bible says, Jesus cast out the deaf and mute spirit. And when he cast out that spirit, the person began to hear and to speak. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even now, you watching me, I come against every demonic oppression in your life right now. I command that devil to leave you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I, see, I see a child... I say, mother, you're worried over your child and you believe that that child is under a demonic attack or that child is under a demonic influence. If you will put your hand on that child, thank you, Lord Jesus, right now. Or call the name of that child right now, even as I pray. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, that demon goes away from her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that little girl free. She is free to be herself. Praise God. I've got to stop here. I'm going to continue on this next week. Of course, I've got to continue next week because we didn't finish this. Praise God. Listen, it's a weekend and I want you to have the best weekend ever. Go out. Do something good for someone. Buy someone a gift. Praise God. Do some, Just do something good for someone this weekend and God will surely bless you. Now remember next weekend, next week, Saturday and Sunday, we're having our program Sound the Alarm. Don't miss it. Plan for it. Praise God until Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.